So car A and B travels between Cape Town and Maxi Town. So this will be Cape Town, this will be Maxi Town. Car A takes 8 hours to travel from Cape Town to Maxi Town. So car A takes 8 hours. And car B takes 10 hours to travel from Maxi Town to Cape Town. Both car A and car B left the destination at the same time. After traveling for 4 and 1 third hours, car A stopped at the petrol kiosk. Now let's say this petrol kiosk is somewhere here. Okay. The petrol kiosk. Okay. So we'll split the distance up into two portions. Okay. Now, the time that car A takes to travel from here to here, from Cape Town up to the petrol kiosk is 4 and 1 third hours. What about the remaining time? Since the total distance from Cape Town to Maxi Town is 8 hours, so we can find the time taken from petrol kiosk to Maxi Town. 8 hours, subtracting off 4 and 1 third hours, that will give us 3 and 2 thirds hours. Okay, so the time taken to travel from the petrol kiosk to Maxi Town will be 3 and 2 thirds hours. So this can be simplified. We will change them into improper fractions. So this will become 13 over 3, and this will become 11 over 3. So this ratio can now be simplified into 13 to 11. This is the ratio of time that car A takes to travel from the Cape Town to Petro Kiosk, and then from the Petro Kiosk to Maxi Town. Okay? Now we know that time ratio is the same as distance ratio. So distance ratio will also be 13 to 11. Okay, from Cape Town to Petro Kiosk will be 13, and from the Petro Kiosk to Maxi Town will be 11. So I'll write down here, 13 units and 11 units. Okay, now the question asks for, how long would car B take to pass this Petro, petro Kiosk? Now we consider car B, yeah? Car B takes 10 hours, okay? 10 hours to travel how many units of distance? It is 13 units plus 11 units. That will give us 24 units. So 24 units of distance will require 10 hours by car B. So now the question asks for how long car B will take to travel from Maxi Town to the petrol kiosk. And that distance is 11 units. So we will first find 1 unit. So 10 divided by 24, we will have 5 over 12 hours. Then to find 11 units, here we will have 55 over 12 hours. And this can be simplified into mixed fraction. And that will give us 4 and 7 over 12 hours. Okay, this is our final answer.